Today, I come to bring you sad news. A rapper by the name of PNB Rock was shot by an armed robber on Monday, September 12th. His real name was Rakim Hashim Allen. PNB Rock was born in Pennsylvania on December 9th of 1991 to Raymond Allen and Vivian Allen. His father was murdered when he was only three years old, so he was primarily raised by his mother. He has four brothers. One of his brothers goes by the name of PNB Mean. He is a rapper as well. Another brother was murdered. PNB Rock leaves behind two daughters, Milan Allen, who was born on October 23rd, 2013, whom he shared with China Brown. He also has a daughter named Zuri Lee, who was born on March 27th of 2020, which he shared with his long-term girlfriend, Stephanie. According to reports, Stephanie and PNB were at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in Los Angeles when the shooting took place around 1.15 p.m. in broad daylight. Moreover, a witness claims that PNB was enjoying his meal when the suspect came in with firearm and demanded jury from the victim. The 30-year-old was shot immediately and the victim ran out of the side door to a getaway car in the parking lot. Let's take a listen to what one of the witnesses had to say. That's just crazy. We in there sitting with the kids eating and that's the pop off. The location was on Main Street and Manchester Avenue. All over some Jury and Rolex and all that type of shit. The block is hot. Niggas ain't even been out here long enough. Nigga just seen a nigga get smoked. Shit crazy, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. 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 Yeah, that's after the girlfriend posted a picture of chicken waffles and grits with the name of Roscoe's House of Chicken's Waffles tag. Now, a lot of people are blaming her. However, I don't think that she is to be blamed. I'm sure it is a lot more than one Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in L.A. Somebody probably was watching him or they saw him going in the store. Or someone was excited because he was in the store and they called up somebody, not knowing that they was going to come rob him. This is what the girlfriend had to say about the shooting. Take a man off the streets and clean him up. Everybody want him. We trying to mind our business, grow our little family, and get rich. We trying to live, baby. Ain't nothing gonna break us up. This lady is grieving. We have to stop blaming people. It is not her fault. According to him, this is the second time it has happened to him. Let's listen to him in this video. It's always felt a little spooky to me. And just tell me, and, and it's fine. You tell me if, if, if it's just me being pussy. But like just, no. <laughs> LA, I think I think because we, 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 LA is synonymous with the death of Biggie, death of Pac. Taking off Bro, somebody tried me on Fairfax, like, like mid-pandemic. But it was Why like another so one. Of, I don't know. I guess because niggas be sweet. You feel me? And niggas, they just... You niggas see me with my family, nigga. They think I'm just out here lacking. You know what I'm saying? So it would be one of those type of situations. So we're like, niggas. Yo, I hear that just walking up to niggas in like broad daylight, like, yo, give me your chain. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo. No, niggas try me on some. It'd be like, every but time. they try to take your jewelry or some shit? I don't know, but it'd be like, I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky criminals. Like, <laughs> yeah. in LA, it's like they bold. It's like, they want you to know. They want you to, they want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them, some of them might just. Go crazy Like I know some niggas Like that too They might not even They might be on their sneaky shit too But the majority of the times I got into some shit It was like They just gave they drop up Too fast You feel me So the second time I got into some shit It was like Niggas was just talking Loud as shit Wanting me to hear Their conversation And it's like I'm with my peoples Like I'm with my, my, my daughter And my girl Like why they talking About this gangster shit Like what this around like we outside, we on Fairfax. I'm like, man, you know, I already peed the bitch. We this out. Gangs out there on Fairfax. Like, like, that's what I'm that? saying. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm on Fairfax right now. <laughs> so I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we gone. My girl, like, no, nah, we ain't I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm not sure you on peeping. point. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was yeah, thinking I'm thinking about women sometimes. She be thinking man. I'm tripping. So in the mix of all this, I'm like, no, nah, we out. So she peeped that I'm serious. She's like, no, nah, we out. 
we drive probably like two blocks in the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pull over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to this store right here. And then in a mix of me, like telling her like where to park at, it's like somebody just came fast as shit and took the parking spot, like the same spot that we yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, they must have been following me or something, bro. How the fuck this car get behind me this <laughs> yeah. fast? Like I ain't even look, I look back and that shit was there quick as shit. And then when I walked past, like the car bombed out. Like this shit tended to the max. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm getting all this heat coming from the car though. Like I'm feeling the energy coming from the car. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Who that car? Like, you know, some other shit. I ain't going to the store for two seconds. The same people coming from out the car, hopping the store, hyping shit. See some gang banging shit, like some set of my, I don't know what they say. This is some shit out loud. Set trip in the But it was like, son, that I'm not that I recognize the energy. You feel me? I'm like, what? You feel me? Like, he like started talking to me with some gang shit. Like, I'm like, bro, do you know me? Like, you know me from somewhere? He like, nigga, yeah, I know who you is. Da, da, da. Trying to get me to, like get into some shit So I'm like man I flagged him off And I just walked out the store Cause I already know like Where this shit about to go You feel me You Don't that make you nervous It's like you with like Your, your girl your No boy. that's why I be trying to be cool Cause you don't wanna be nervous And make it seem like Something about that You wanna You well, want you them to be as calm too, as possible You feel me You want your girl and your kids To be like making it seem like Everything is cool Ain't nothing about to happen to us You feel me Like we super good So I just be cool I just kept it cordial I'm like come on maybe out Niggas on some real shit. Yeah. You feel me? They got to the car, and when they get to the car, that's when I let niggas know, like, I'm not on that. You feel me? And I ain't going to say what happened, but niggas know that I'm just not on that. Yeah. As you can see from this video, he was already having problems. Evidently, someone had a hit out on him, which is very sad considering that he didn't bother anybody. Maybe there was a reason that they both went on a social media break. Therefore, we cannot just blame his girlfriend. He was pronounced deceased at L.A. Hospital. Some of his hits were Fleek, and nails on fleek, get yeah, shawty your fleek Selfish? I want to out of my south, I swear You don't need nobody else, I swear Cross me Cross her Anything she needs, she can call me you Cross me one of his greatest hits was Every Day We Lit, who he performed with YFN and Lucci. It was number 33 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. Did it on my own, take out my neck, take out my wrist, yeah. I swear I ain't never expected it to be he also wrote a song called Take My Soul. Fell in love with this hoe, she was plotting on me. And I can't even lie, she had to drop. He was talking about how he had fell in love with this girl, but she wasn't in love with him back. She was actually plotting on him. Oh, my mama ain't never gonna let him take my, take my soul. How to the ones you love. Now that you have heard a few of his songs, let's get to one of the messages that his friends wrote. His name was Trippy Red. I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to summarize it a little bit. You can take the time out and pause it. But he talked about how he had to reschedule his day and how he keeps losing his friends from gun violence. Trippy also thanks PNB. Wearing a mask, so security video might not help police much. Brother, that's like my brother. It's like more family. Friends and fans have been stopping by the restaurant all morning to pay their respects. Some wonder whether PNB Rock may have attracted unwanted attention by wearing expensive jewelry. I believe he didn't know the streets like that. You feel me? I know the streets like that. You feel me? Some people just don't know the streets like that. They feel they feel comfortable coming to Roscoe's with chains. Now I'm gonna leave you with a few words from Farrakhan. In the '60s, we knew who the enemy was. But in 2007, you the enemy. It's black people killing black people. Black people robbing black people. Black people raping black people. I'm talking to you. And I cannot call for retaliation in matters of the slain when you have become the number one slayers of yourself and your own people. It's we killing each other. I'm sending my condolences to his family and friends. Keep the family in your prayers. Stay prayed up and always watch your surroundings. Rest in peace, PNB.